This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Family mourns a triple loss in Independence Day tragedy. They were just about seven minutes from home on their way back from a drive to Ocherius in St. Anne, but they never made it. 33-year-old Rassi Tafari Phillips, as well as 36-year-old Sanjay Kane and his 14-year-old daughter, Sanjina Kane, perished in an Independence Day crash along Downs Main Road in Manchester, leaving relatives in a perpetual state of emotional turmoil. We can't sleep, we can't eat. This has been a whole blow on the family. To lose a brother, an uncle, and a cousin is just not easy, related Aisha Phillips. According to reports, about 5.25 p.m. on Friday, August 6, the three were aboard a Toyota motor car with two other relatives when it collided with a Honda motor car along the Downs Main Road. They were rushed to the hospital in a conscious state, but later succumbed to their injuries. A fourth relative is said to still be hospitalized in intensive care. It is reported that the occupant of the Honda motor car was also hospitalized. Aisha told the news that her brother, Rasi Tafari, was the father figure she and her siblings looked up to after their dad died when she was just about five years old. He was such a humble person, and he always had something funny to say, no matter the situation. You would never know he was stressed, because he was always happy, Aisha said. She said her brother had no biological children, but treated her siblings as his offspring. He was always saying that we are his investment. He was the one that helped me through school up to the point of me being in university now. He was my mother's heartbeat and we can't eat or sleep since the incident, said the heartbroken Aisha. As the family struggles to come to terms with this tragedy, they say recovery from this blow seems like a far-fetched dream. My little cousin Sanjino was such a brilliant little girl and was very friendly. My uncle Sanjay was a quiet one, he didn't talk much, Aisha added. Because of the loss, Sanjina's mother is not coping well at all. She is having a mental breakdown after losing the father of her two children, who she has been with since high school, and losing her eldest daughter. I don't know how we will begin to put the pieces back together. She said that Sanjina, a student of the St. Elizabeth Technical High School, was to begin second form in the coming school year. When the news spoke to Sanjina's grandfather, Dover Powell, he could not find the words to describe how he was feeling, but expressed that he was holding on as best he could. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.